Hello Leo, how are you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me on my channel. We are going to do an intuitive love reading for you, a little short one. Um, it's non-date specific, so whenever you see this video is when you were meant to see it. <clears throat> Everything you're going to want to know will be in the description box below, but it's a general reading, right? So it's not going to resonate with everybody, so only take what resonates and leave out what doesn't. I encourage you to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Uh, that will help give you additional messages if, uh, if this one isn't resonating with you. And uh, these uh, decks have been pre-shuffled off camera. I'm just doing a little last minute shuffling for you guys so you can see here. And we're going to get started. <clears throat> if you're into social media, check out the social media channels I just started. I'm the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. And this channel's brand new. I'm just getting it started. So like, share, subscribe if you would like to see more. So for Leo in love, <clears throat> you're coming off as the hermit, Virgo energy, card number nine. Between you and your person is justice in reverse. So some sort of imbalance, some sort of something that was unfair or hasn't been dealt with properly. Uh, your person, king of pentacles in reverse. Somebody else had this. I forget who. We'll have to go back and look. Your guidance and advice is the seven of cups. These cards are a little risque, so keep them briefly on camera. And then also in your guidance, you are understood. What a beautiful card. I love that. <clears throat> All right, so for Leo, the lions out there. <clears throat> so you are trying to go through some door. If you are in hermit mode, right, kind of inner soul searching, essentially, you're looking for answers from within. And it's like the keys are all right in front of you. All the wisdom and knowledge you seek, it, it's right there. It's within you. It's like you just have to reach out and grab it, right, with these keys to open, open that door. And it, there's this feeling that there's something really great waiting for you on the other side. It might literally be your person, right, if you're single, Leo. <clears throat> but the potential person in question is the king of pentacles reversed. <clears throat> so in the upright, it's an earth sign, right? Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I mean, essentially, he's the king of the home. He's the king of work. Pentacles are earth. They have to do with our, our jobs, our career, our, our bodies, our family, um, things that grow from seeds, right? So in reverse, it's like something isn't growing here. Something is stuck. Something is delayed. Um, maybe somebody isn't being responsible with their funds, with their money, and it could be what they're investing in. And, and if that doesn't have to do with financial decisions, it could be just investing their time with you, investing themselves in this relationship, right? And I say that because the justice card is, is in the reverse. It's, it is in balance. Uh, you might be dealing with a Libra, possibly, but the scales are, are reversed. Someone needs to tip the scales and make them right again. Now, this King of Pentacles is looking at the imbalance, so he's aware of it. Uh, and I'm saying he because of the gender on this card, but this could easily be, you know, masculine or feminine. We, we all have masculine and feminine energies. Always keep that in mind. So this King is essentially acknowledging the, the injustice, right? But Virgo, I think you're focused on this door. I think you're focused... Uh, did I say Virgo? I'm sorry, it's the card of Virgo. Leo, you are... You, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, you are focused on this opportunity that lies ahead. You are focused on going through this door. And it's. it feels like you may have more options or multiple options once you go towards what's calling you. This feels like you're calling. And again, multiple options because you have multiple keys here, right? But also because of the Seven of Cups... The Seven of Cups speaks to having a lot of options. You may have a lot of um, options romantically or sexually or, do you know what I'm saying, uh, like relationship-wise. Um, this could also be you breaking free. If you were living at home with like a parent, because the King of Pentacles can be like a father or a dad figure, if you're breaking free from like a parental or or even living with someone older, it doesn't have to be your parents. If you're like breaking free from a roommate that was causing you some sort of imbalance, it's almost like you weren't in a position where you were able to date or be in a relationship or something until you left. And it's like you're literally going out the door into something else. You might be moving and it's going to open up a world of opportunities and love because Seven of Cups, love is it's water, it's emotions, it's happiness. Um, it's the card of Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces potentially. 
and you are understood. Yeah, so I'm getting that whoever this king of pentacles is in your relationship, they're not coming off as a bad person per se, but there, there isn't staying power on your end, Leo. They're, again, you're a fire sign. You go, where, you go where there's passion, where there's love. So if, if there isn't love here, if the scales are upside down, you know, I, I don't think it would be such a bad move to seek passion, to seek love and light in other places. Go, go for new opportunities. Go through doors you've never been through before. Um, and I'm getting two things. The person you are leaving behind potentially will understand, right? If, if you explain it in a logical way and you're sensitive to, you know, their emotions, right? That will be understood, but also I think there's people out there who are a better fit for you, who are a better match. And yeah, you don't need to be afraid of taking any risks because two cards indicate that you have a lot more options than what's presently in front of you. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you, beautiful lions. Thank you so much for joining on my channel today, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.